Critics claim that creation science is not falsifiable or subject to change. However, this is not true because creation science theories are falsifiable and subject to change. In fact, both creationists and evolutionists use observations and measurements, develop and test hypotheses and theories, develop hypotheses and theories that make falsifiable predictions, revise and abandon theories based on new data, use internal peer review, and have some holdouts for generally abandoned theories. Most creation scientists consider the following theories to have been falsified. Now, as is often the case, there are still some supporters for these theories, but most creation scientists do not support them anymore. The canopy theory was developed in the early days of creation science, and it was years before its validity could be checked. Today, most creation scientists agree that it is unworkable because it was found that the water vapor would trap way too much heat, and a thin enough canopy to not cause overheating would not provide the expected radiation shielding. CDK was the first attempt at a scientific solution to the distant starlight problem. However, it made predictions about redshift versus distance that have been proven false. In addition, the evidence for CDK has been proven faulty. One example of a creationist theory that has been modified is Dr. Russell Humphrey's white hole cosmology. It was modified by Humphreys himself to deal with some initial problems. This is because the initial model had a problem with seeing nearby galaxies. Furthermore, Humphreys discovered that time would have been stopped within the event horizon. And the basic concept was expanded on by Dr. Hartnett by applying cosmological relativity to a bounded universe. Here are some creation science theories with successful predictions. Accelerant nuclear decay successfully predicted zircon helium diffusion rates. Humphrey's model of planetary magnetic fields not only successfully predicted the strength of Neptune's magnetic field, but it also predicted the observed decrease in Mercury's magnetic field.